Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got something kind of cool. Uh, we are going to be starting the engine on the ground. Well, on the cherry picker, but you'll see. Stay tuned. All right, so now that we got this engine here all put back together, it's time to see if it'll work because in the current state of the truck there, it's, uh, yeah, there's no way to test it. So I don't want to go put this thing in the truck, paint all these panels, put it all back together, find out this thing just <laughs> is a complete mess. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I start these on the ground or the engine stand because I don't have a stand that can hold this thing. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get to that. So we made a little mistake here. This adapter plate for your transmission or your early OBS style manuals as well has to go on before your flywheel. So uh, don't forget to do that. Uh, I'm just gonna have to pull all these off and put this on and then put the flywheel back on. So yeah, key, uh, good tip there. Don't, uh, don't install your flywheel before your adapter plate. All right, so one of the items you're gonna need for this is these bolts that fit into your transmission uh, mounting bolt holes. Uh, this is basically gonna hold this adapter plate on to the engine because we have to bolt the starter here to start this. So yeah, I'll throw a couple of these in, probably cross from each other. So yeah, we'll throw these in and then we'll mount the starter. I have this adapter plate bolted onto our engine in these two spots, these are two locations. Um, so that we can bolt our starter to it. So if you have a uh, OBS 5-speed E4OD 4R100, it should have one of these. If you have a Super Duty with a ZF6 6-speed uh, six transmission, you won't have one of these. So if you want to do this on the ground, you'd have to install the transmission or get one of these. Yeah, so next you'll need your fuel line. So I have I have an electronic fuel pump on this truck that is gonna supply the fuel for this. Your blue line where this is hooked up now is your supply line. Gray line is your return line. So hook it to this, stick this in a bucket in case you have any overflow. So the next thing you need to do is be able to connect your computer or whatever truck you're using to that engine. So I've disconnected our harness here for this engine and I have created this patch cable. I've created this patch cable here to be able to connect things or engines to the truck. So this is a 40 foot uh, cable and I cut this off of a harness, an old harness, and then I cut this off of an old truck and then just spliced the two. There's probably 30 wires here that I had to splice. It took a while, but it makes this work. So we're gonna get that hooked up now. And now we got the harness hooked up, just sitting right here. Comes all the way through, plugged up to here. Now we got our fuel line going. We have a container to catch any of the extra diesel. And I think that's all we need. So what we're doing for the starter here is I'm gonna have a battery here on the ground. We have our positive and negative terminals hooked up. Uh, you're gonna want this terminal to have your hot lead this is for our glow plugs. I think I'm gonna need that. And then you're gonna hook this wire from your positive terminal to this little lead. And that is basically your switch to turn on and shoot out your solenoid. So, yeah. So you'll also need your ignition on, so go key on. And then fuel pump on. And then that should be good. So now we should be getting fuel. And now we're ready to try to start.
that's really all I have for this video. Um, pretty much we just started the engine. That was like the second or third time I've done it because I had to build a couple of engines because the first one was kind of a dud. Uh, if you watched the last video, you saw that. And then we rebuilt another one and then that's the one we actually started on the stand. So yeah, pretty much all you need is a truck with an operational PCM uh, in it and then you need the transmission adapter plate as well to be able to install the starter uh, and then you're going to need the bolts to put the adapter plate on uh, and then you need to build a harness as well to extend the harness from your truck to that engine wherever it's going to be. Um, the wires I used for my harness extension were thermostat wires like you would use for the thermostat in your house that you adjust the temperature for. Um, and the reason I went with that is because they were cheapest by foot, I think. Um, and they were in bundles of like four or five, I want to say. So I, I didn't have to buy as much wire as well. Um, and then I just soldered everything together um, and then taped it up so it was safe. So you also need a fuel source as well. In this case, I used an electric fuel pump that I had already installed in my OBS truck. Uh, and then that's what allowed me to pull directly from the tank through that long line, that long hose, into the actual engine. Um, and then a return bucket because it will leak out if you're uh, through the regulated return that is built into the uh, fuel filter and such. So yeah, all in all, I mean, it's not that expensive to do it if you have you know, the running truck, buy some wire, put some, put some wire together, add a hose uh, to your fuel line. Um, I've also started one on the Super Duty as well, not only the OBS truck. So it works both, um, both ways. I actually built the harness for the Super Duty when I did, or when I was first putting the engine. If you watch way back on the channel, when I was doing that red truck, I think I started that one on the ground. Um, and yeah, I built the harness for that. So when you build the harness for the Super Duty, uh, it ends up making the OBS miss two wires um, and they both have to deal with the fuel bowl. So I think one is water in the fuel and the other one's like fuel pressure, um, which the PCM really doesn't care about. So uh, it worked, it worked great. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions about how this all works, let me know. Um, I might make another video in the future, maybe a little bit better breakdown uh, on how I did things, but. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, leave them down below and I'll get back to you.